What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Solo Leveling Arise video. Alright guys, Sticky Minaj, my boy. I've known this man for a very long time now. Since my tribe days, he is my biggest supporter on the supporter program. Uh, plus, he is one of the biggest whales I know. As a matter of fact, uh, he and I played tribes together for a very long time. Um, and he quit Gotcha Gaming and he came back because he saw my content for Solo Leveling Arise. And I needed somebody who had some damn luck with this bow. So he has summoned 1,000 times, got his bow to A5. I summoned 1,100 times, and I'm at still A0. Yeah, it's bullshit. So with that being said, we're going to do some testing for you guys. So we're going to do three tests. We're going to do the premier test for the top three weapons in the game for fire, including the, the fireball. We're going to see where it lands. Now, the comparisons are going to be a little bit odd. We're going to have to take a 15% cut from the Vulcan's Rage. Uh, and honestly, we don't have to do the the, the, the cut from, from Orb of Avarice because it's an SR weapon. So it's inferior in regards to its stats anyways. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to jump into this battle here. And I'm praying to God that he hasn't done it. Thank you, Lord, he has not done it yet. Okay, so we're going to jump in here. I'm going to take off the actual weapons right here i'm going to remove them okay actually can i can i remove them now you know what i can probably keep these in there. let me see what happens if i unequip ah perfect 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 here's what we're going to do guys we are going to test every single version of these weapons in this game so this is going to be the max level of each weapon so we're going to do a5 bow we're going to do a10 vulcan's rage again we're going to remove 15 percent of that damage from that because of where it's at. And then we're gonna do A A10 Vulcan or, or Orb of Avarice. We're gonna test all three of them on the dragon by themselves, okay? No skills, nothing else. We're just gonna do same stats across the board. We're just gonna throw in the weapons and we're just gonna do the weapon testing on its own. And we're gonna see what the final number looks like when it's all said and done. Now, I'm not gonna show you the entire battle. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys some of the end results at the end of the day. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about this and where you should stop and where the biggest impact is for you, okay, as a player. Remember, I can, I will, I may do the free to play version of it because I have an A1 version of the bow on my free to play account, which is ironic enough because I can't believe I did a thousand one or something and get an A1 version of my pay to win. Uh, but I don't have Vulcan's Rage. That's where the problem was. Like, I was gonna do it on my free to play account, but I don't have Vulcan's Rage, so I need to be able to test against three of the two of the other best weapons in the game, okay? So, without further ado, guys, we're gonna jump in here and we're gonna just do it like this. There's nothing else here. I just raw bow versus raw but he, he, keep in mind here as well too the fire damage is 50 percent less here so keep that in the back of your mind for this week i'm gonna have to i'm just showing you anyways what it looks like so it's equal across the board there's no there's no treachery here with stats okay and just so you can see here sticky menage's stats are as follows he's got 50 percent crit hit rate uh 193 crit uh, attack power is 17620 with the one weapon uh precision is 79 percent and then defense pen is 21 and then 17.73 uh, okay just so everyone's on the same page of what this is going to look like again i will not be using anything else here i'm going to take away some of the blessings here as well let's just take away the blessing stones i'm going to unequip all these okay unequip 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 we're going to take away all the blessing stones we're not going to use any skills seriously we're not using any skills at all okay we're just going to go straight raw dog in it and we're gonna just see what the damage looks like all right so jumping in let's go let's go back in and again i'm i'll show you maybe 30 seconds of battle then i'll fast forward till the end and i'll tell you guys what the results look like okay with with the bow so he's got the burning curse out on by the way just so everyone's aware okay so we're gonna do some damage some damage some damage again this is a quick this is a bat. If this is a fire day, it would be a whole different story in terms of damage, obviously. But we're gonna see what this looks like either way, okay? All right, this is 30 seconds, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording this, and I'm gonna show you guys the final results of the bow and where the numbers look like, and then we're gonna show you guys Vulcan's Rage, and then we're gonna show you guys Orb of Avarice. And again, I'm not doing any shadow steps or anything. This is gonna just be just raw damage from skill to skill. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. Every skill for each weapon is at level seven, by the way, just so everyone's on the same page. Uh, I have made sure that everything remains the same. So all skills, basic attacks, core attacks, and skills for each weapon is at level seven. So there's no manipulation of data, uh, except again, we're gonna take 15% off from, look, as, as, as we mentioned, from each of the, sorry, from Vulcan's Rage, but Orb of we can keep it at A10 and leave the stats as is, all right? Okay, guys, I'll be right back. All right, boys and girls, just to make things go a little faster, I didn't bother killing the golem. I just let it kind of slide. 
We didn't do any breaks on the boss. We just did only straight attacks with core damage and skill damage. So this is what the bow gives you at A5. We're at 2.879 million. All right. And we're not going to register this. We're just going to go back to the menu screen. Okay. 2.879 million. All right. That's what we're going to look at. So that's the comparison there. So I'm going to go ahead and put no pad up here for a sec. Let me just put uh, 2.897 million. Million. A5 bow. Okay, I'm going to put this right here for you guys, just so everybody can see it. Okay, and now we're going to do Vulcan's Rage. Same scenario, same setup. Okay, now I just want to show you guys this real quick because I didn't get a chance to do it last time. But uh, if you look at the weapon skills and everything for each one of these, okay, so I'm going to go view details. You guys can see here the skills are all the same. Okay, so I said this, I alluded to this earlier. So there you go, A7, A7, uh, A7, A7, and then, uh, sorry, uh, not A7, seven skills across the board, and then Orb of Avarice, seven, 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 right? All across the board. And then also level 100. So let's go ahead and compare now with Vulcan's Ray. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to just set up a, a combat, 30 seconds of combat for you guys so you guys can see how it looks. And then we can show you guys what the damage is at the end. And then I'll do the exact same thing of the Orb of Avarice so you guys can see what the three top weapons look like and where the bow kind of sits. Now remember, this is just raw dog testing, okay? This is nothing to do with doing shadow steps or breaks or doing any other mechanics along the way. This is just straight, like, well, how much damage does this weapon do on its own, uh, and etc. right? Numbers will look better, obviously, when you start pairing it in the right times, the right places, the right elements, etc. But right now, we're not doing that. Again, we just want to see, when it comes down to Jinno using the weapon on his own, um, what what's what's stronger? Is, is it stronger than the rest of them or not? So here, guys, go. As you can see here, we're using the weapon. Vulcan's, Vulcan's Rage, honestly, is pretty damn strong when it comes down to, especially with that damn shield. That, like, none of this is going to knock him back. So you can just go ahead and peg everything. That's right, I said the word peg with this. Uh, so there you go. We, we did about 30 seconds worth. So I'm going to go ahead, guys, finish this up now. I will be right back again. I will die on the Golem on purpose, and then we will see what the numbers look like. Because quite honestly, at that point, all it is is just the same thing over and over again. And just you're just doubling your numbers. But we can kind of get a good idea and a good sense of what this weapon can do versus the Vulcan's Rage just by... You know completing this up so let's just finish this up here one two three I, i'm pretty confident the bow is going to be the, the strongest dps weapon in the game at this point i'm very confident about it it will by far be the best fire weapon in the game but we're, we're going to go ahead and take a look okay we'll see we'll see how this looks out actually i didn't need to do this why am i running i got a shield on you know what i should just show you guys this hold on all right no no you know what i'll be right back i'll see all right folks here are the results. During the Golem stage, even at A10, here is where Vulcan's Rage ended up being. Now, Vulcan's Rage is very easy. It's literally pummel everything without moving because the shield will protect you from any knockbacks and you pretty much do as much damage as possible. Now, remember, he has got the curse set, so we got the full 100 stacks of curse set in there as well, too, while we were doing this on its own. So clearly, even at A10, the bow is much stronger at A5. So here we go, 2.02. .02. If I were to even take away the uh the 15 percent it's not gonna look much better for this it'll be like 1.85 percent or 1.1.85 million uh so this is vulcan's rage yeah yeah this is pretty much vulcan's rage so there you guys go not looking great guys not looking great for vulcans it's been replaced even with the update very very quickly so the bow is much much better all right now let's jump into the last weapon and that is going to be the Orb of Avarice. Let's just see where the Orb lands when it comes down to this. So we have a little bit less power, but still in the blue. Again, we're not going to take away the 15% from this because it is inferior as an SR in regards to stats. But nonetheless, it will show us what it can do, right? So let's go ahead here, take a quick look, and compare the three weapons. And this is going to give you guys an eye-opening result on why I've been saying when the bow came out, it is going to be the strongest weapon in the game. And I think there's a reason... Well... I, uh, you know, strongest weapon in the game, I think, even, yeah, I'm confident enough to say probably even strongest weapon in the game, period. Uh, and I've been saying that from the start because when I saw the skills for it a long time ago, I was like, yo, this weapon is going to blow shit up. And it looks like that's exactly what it's doing. So let's just see what orb lands. I'll do 30 seconds here with you guys just so you guys can see how this is running. Again, everything is equivalent, right? We're all level 7s, uh, and everything here is going to work the same way. So there you guys go. Damage, good. And we will, again, end it at the, at the golem. There you go. Make sure all the stacks are going. All right. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to stop here, guys, with this. I'll be right back after I'm done this up. Okay. See you guys in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. We are done our testing. Uh, and uh, yeah. 
A10 Orb of Avarice, folks. A10 Orb. I've been saying the Orbs was the strongest weapon for fire for a long time. And this is pretty good proof that it still holds its own. So an A5, A, sorry, A10 Orb of Avarice, of Avarice, beat out an A10 Vulcan's Rage. Man, oh man, what a surprising, surprising result there. So there you guys go. This definitely comes out on top. Even at A5, you can only imagine, at 15% more attack to this. When you put it at A10, if you were to compare this, it's going to be a 3 point something. So it blows all of them out of the water. The orb still comes out on top, even with the same skills. Because again, I'm going to show you guys real quick what I did here, right? So everyone's on the same page, we understand how this is working. The Orb of Avarice, the Vulcan's Rage, and the Bow all have the same weapon skills. They're all level 100. So again, there it is, level 100, level 100. And level 100 right if you look at the skill levels 777 777 and then 777 and again we manipulated nothing when it came down to actual uh like blessing stones or anything all the blessing stones here you guys can see in the bottom let me swing my camera is empty right all the stats are the same for everybody he's got the same artifacts applied all across the board and his skills are the same and we didn't use any skills we just did raw damage by weapons so there you guys go Damn, Vulcan's Rage, you went down You went down the drain again. God damn, what kind of rage are you? This is like Vulcan's Play Toy. That's what it should be called. Vulcan's Little Club. Vulcan's Little Wiener. That's what it should be called. God damn it, man. Guys, buff this shit again. All right, guys, this is Payne. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.